All right, guys, so I literally just got in my car and um, just clocked out from work. Um, we are about to go to DC tomorrow. Um, we leave for Atlanta super, super early um, because I think our flight is at six, so I'm probably not gonna get any sleep tonight. But I have a lot to do before we head to DC. Um, I have definitely been needing, needing, needing these few days away from my job because there's just been a lot of stuff going on lately at my job between me and administration and all of that, and it's had a bit stressed. So um, I'm ready for some fun some drinks some good food but we got a lot of stuff to do before we get to dc so i'm probably like i said i'm probably not gonna get no sleep tonight but i'll probably sleep on the way to atlanta and then probably on the plane um so i have to go home and wax just my armpits because <laughs> ain't nobody seeing me down here um i gotta go home and wax my arms um i got to shave my face i have to pack um, I have everything that I want to take wash, which is a huge step. So, um, I just got to put everything in the bag. And on top of all of that, I wanted to do my nails before, um, DC. And cause you guys know that I'm not a short nail girly in the slightest. I am an extendo bitch only so um i wanted to do my nails before the trip but i didn't get around to doing it so we're just gonna have to work with these these have been cut down from my last set when i was in a barbie mood um so these are just these are just gonna have to work for what we're going on with dc ignore the thumb i know my thumb is missing but from a distance they look cute okay that's all that matters um so of course i'm gonna take you guys with me through the packing journey because your girl has got some new techniques when it comes to packing so we're gonna pack together of course we're going to have our vlogging throughout the entire trip it's just a thursday through sunday trip and i'm excited because like i said i've been stressed lately between work and the shit that's going on in my personal life a bitch has been stressed out so like i really just need a breather just away from everything and this dc trip is going to be just that for me so i'm excited so i'm gonna head home and we'll get started bye so it is 10 30 at night we are leaving at one o'clock in the morning to go to atlanta to get on our plane to go to dc and I am just not starting to pack. My sister dragged me on a Walmart trip, which was needed because I needed some little travel things too and some more deodorant. So we still have to pack, take a shower, and twist my hair. So we're gonna see if we can get this all done before one o'clock because we kind of have no choice because that's when we're leaving. So I'll be back to update you. So it is 12.05. Um, I just got done with everything. Um, we are leaving for Atlanta at one o'clock, um, to make it for our 6 a.m. flight to D.C. Um, I got everything done except for shave my face and shave my underarms. My underarms are not that crazy hairy, so I'm not too much tripping off of that. And then unless you like up on me, you're not going to tell that my face is a little hairy. So that's perfectly fine. But I've showered, I've packed. So I forgot what airline that we're flying, but, um, we had to pay for our checked luggage and our luggage couldn't be over 40 pounds so we are carrying two bags meaning me and Aaron are sharing a bag and my mom and dad are sharing a bag and we got our bag right at 39 pounds <sighs> I hope and pray that we do not do any crazy ass shopping because we have one pound amongst the both of us to try to move stuff around or whatever but um, I'm excited um, as you can tell, I have gotten no sleep. We started packing at like 10 something, maybe even like 10.45 to be 100% honest. And my parents' first alarm just went off because it's like 12. Um, so no sleep. I have hella liquid IVs in my book bag because your girl's gonna need them. Yeah, I am going to definitely need some liquid IV. So 
running on fumes and as soon as we land in dc um it's gonna be around like 8 8 30 in the morning so we're gonna get some breakfast and then we are heading straight to the museum and then after the museum we're gonna go check into our airbnb when i tell you i'm going to be tired okay i am literally running off fumes i've had no sleep today i literally came home straight from work ate dinner me and aaron went to walmart to get some last minute things came home packed and now i'm talking to y'all um and we're leaving in less than an hour so um we will see you guys when we are in the car on the way to the airport and oh god i'm gonna be so tired but i'm excited so later it is 4 39 in the morning and we just made it to the airport I have a crick in my neck. I'm tired. And I'm not really. Huh? <sighs> mm. Sorry. That was a lot of yawning, but we just made it to the airport. Our flight doesn't leave till like six. So we're gonna need plenty of time to go through security because apparently there's a lot of people here. So um, I'll see you guys when we get in the airport. Need to get in that line right there. <laughs> well, we should have put one of y'all in the wheelchair. Well, you know your mama's talking about this, a wheelchair. This man right here is crazy. He I'm, is I'm, crazy. I'm the good crazy though. <laughs> this is this is another adventure. This is another very interesting adventure of traveling with our parents because it's too early for their shenanigans. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Hey, hey, turn around. Get around her. I'm talking about you and your husband. It's too early to be dealing with their shenanigans. How do you make it through the airport by yourself? Jesus. <laughs> really? Okay. Made it to DC. Yeah. It's all in the name. That's good advertisement. We made it to DC. And we're here to pick up the rental car. And I'm starving. I need food. And my period started. Walking down the escalator. So now I have to change pants. And I did not have any underwear on. So yeah, I, um the world don't need to know all that. You even have no car. Okay, you're irritated and hungry. I take all that bad rewind. <laughs> um our dad is currently in the line to pick up the rental car. But it's a long ass line because everybody was cheap like him. Everybody was cheap like him. All in the name, budget. Everybody. So, 
Um, I think that once we, we are currently, actually, no, I'm lying. We did not make it to DC. We are currently in Detroit. Where are they in Michigan? We're in Maryland. Detroit is in Maryland, Aaron. It's not Detroit. Detroit is in Michigan. Yeah, I thought Detroit was in Maryland. Yeah, Detroit, Detroit Michigan. Maryland. Where, where, the they, where they on feel? the plane said, like, going to Baltimore. Where they, where they feel? No, she said Detroit. No, she, she said Baltimore. Where she they said Detroit. The in Baltimore. I'm supposed to know where they filmed the wire. I'm just. I'm supposed to know where they filmed the wire. This ain't in Michigan. Michigan's in the middle. In the middle of the country. We're on the East Coast in Maryland. He probably did because he's not paying attention. Okay, I don't know where we are. We're somewhere um, up north, We're close to DC. And East Coast. um, I think we have to. I think we have to. I think we have to, how long is our drive to DC? Like 30, 40 30 minutes. minutes. Okay, so we're in Baltimore. We'll be in DC in 30 to 40 minutes. Oh. And hopefully we'll be able to get food and some pads and we some panties. We got at 11 at the breakfast club. Mm, the same one that's in Houston? Maybe. Mm. It's good. Like I want some breakfast food. I want some pancakes. I want bacon and my. I left my heating pad. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna make it through this trip, and I'm gonna find Happy Morgan. I'm gonna muster her up. Pour some rags and put them on your stomach. Thank you so much for loving me that much, Mama. Because. I just don't want to be irritated and ruin it for everybody. I'm not going to ruin it for everybody, but I don't have my heating pad. You still recording? Yeah. Why are we having this conversation? Because okay. this is going on my YouTube channel. Okay. Morgan, will you stop to my page? I want some cranberry juice. I don't care, Erin. Get cranberry juice at the breakfast place. Said, no, I need Talk to you guys later. Now. Bye. Okay, so I have finally got my hands on a cup of coffee and it's amazing. It's a what's your what's your favorite coffee? It's a Jamaican coffee. It's a local coffee and it's really, really good. And of course we got cocktails because according to Erin, you're not vacationing right if you're not drinking early in the morning. So I also got this beautiful, it's called a Paris Sherman. Daddy, I am recording, leave me alone. <laughs> You're trying to ruin my fun, okay? You're trying to ruin my fun, but I'm going to show you guys the Papa Sherman. This is what it looks like. She's really, really pretty. And then Aaron's is really, really pretty. What'd you get? The Cab, um, Cab Calloway? Yeah. It's pretty. Cab Calloway one? Okay. Um, and then Mama, she got the house mimosa. I only know Mama and Cindy. It's super cute. So I'm excited about the food because I am also starving. I needed the coffee. Yeah, Daddy got water because he don't know how to vacation, right? And he claims that he's driving. And it's too early to be drinking. Daddy, it's five o'clock somewhere. It's probably five o'clock in Europe right now. Don't quote me. That's probably really wrong. That's so I'm like, do not quote Canada me. That is, is wrong. Atlanta time. Oh, so they're only two and hours ahead. Atlanta time. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Eastern. Are we still in Baltimore? We're in, we're in DC now. Okay, so we have made it to DC. And this is Silver Springs. We are in Silver Springs, DC, at the Breakfast Club, having breakfast. It's in the suburb of DC. It's Washington, DC. Silver Springs. 
Springs, D.C. D.C. is still Washington, D.C. This is not the state of Washington. This is the District of Columbia. I do want to go to the state of Washington now. Oh, we just got out. I want to go to Seattle. See, if you're going to correct me, don't correct me on camera. I just want to make sure no. the geography is wrong. But I'm saying, we're saying the same thing. You just want me to say Washington, D.C. I'm saying D.C. Okay. Do we know that? I'm not going to survive being on vacation with her. <laughs> I'm not going to survive. No, I'm going to make no, the because, best vacation. Because, no, let me tell you something about her. This woman, whenever she leaves the state of Alabama, bougie girl kicks in and she gets annoying. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, my husband's bougie too. Your husband is a Triana nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I said a Triana nigga. <laughs> that is what that is. But after we leave here, we have reservations at the African American Museum at 1.30. Is that right? 1.30? So we're gonna eat and then we're gonna head to the museum. So <laughs> see you guys later. Is it nasty? Is it good? I'm trying to see what it is. So me and Erin got the wrong drinks. They gave her my drink and they gave me her drink. So this is the real Papa Shop. It's yellow. Um, it's got Earl Grey. It's got lemon. It's got bourbon. Um, hers is really good though, but this is the real Papa Shop. With my egg white phone. So we made it to the museum. Um, on the way here, Mama was like giving us little history lessons, and we all failed. <laughs> we all know absolutely nothing about American history. Dumb AM. And dumb as fuck. Like super, super stupid. But Washington Monument. Um, the White House is supposed to be close to the African American Museum. So hopefully we will get to kind of walk around a little bit and see that. But it's a lot of parks out here in DC. I was not expecting the that. Of the Washington Monument. I did. Oh. I did. It's a lot of um, parks out here in DC. And look at the building. The building is so pretty. I'm gonna close up. The African American Museum is so pretty on the outside. And so this is my second time coming to the museum. This is everybody else's first. So I'm excited for them to see everything that's in it. Um, it's four floors of everything nigga. And I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So hopefully we are able to record or take pictures while we're inside the museum. Because if so, I got some good stuff coming for you guys. If not, I'm so sorry. You're just going to have to go see it for yourself. So see you guys later. We just got to our Airbnb, um, just walked in the door. We just got back from the African American Museum. It took us about 30 or so minutes to make it from the museum to here. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour because we are tired and ready to take naps. So this is the kitchen area. That's my mom disinfecting everything. Um, this is the rest of the kitchen washer dryer we come in here we have just the bathroom um it's just a toilet there's no shower so it's a half bath um this is aaron and aaron's room pretty and spacious my dad just brought the bags in this is the den area it's a lot of pretty like windows and plants and like really natural light so let's go upstairs
So up here, this is where I'm sleeping. Um, it's got an air unit, a little closet over there in the corner. Let's make sure that our air is like coolest. So it can kind of cool off the room a little bit. Um, this is my bathroom. Well, the bathroom that me and Erin would be sharing because her bathroom downstairs only has a toilet. Um, this is where my mom and dad will be sleeping. It's a really nice Airbnb, guys. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths. This is their bathroom. It's got a nice jacuzzi tub in it and a shower. Okay, it's cute in here. So, ooh, that is our little Airbnb. Not anything too fancy, too crazy. Um, like I said, we'll be here in DC until Sunday. So this is really just somewhere for us to recharge and sleep. Um, we are super tired after this long day that we have had and we are probably going to get some food and take a nap and how do you feel um <laughs> how do you feel after your first day i'm making it i'm making it you're making it how do you feel about your first day mama uh the museum was nice okay the lunch was, was nice the museum was very depressing, guys. The African American Museum, first and foremost, there are a total of four levels to the African American Museum, and we only made it through two sections of one floor. It's a lot to go through, it's a lot of history, it's a lot of very sad history. We mostly got through the early days of slavery and, um, um, early days of early days of segregation and we ended our day with the Emmett Till Memorial guys when I tell you that that part right there is what got me the first time when we went through the museum was the Emmett Till um, memorial section but we ended it at Emmett Till and we said that we're going to come back on a different day not like during this trip no Aaron I remember I had to get pants Oh. I did that. <laughs> I did that. Um, but yeah, ending it on Emmett Till was a good but kind of sour way to end things. Um, it was a sad situation what happened to that little boy. And it's a, it's a sad situation as to what happened to a lot of black people in this country and in a lot of countries around the world. It just still don't sit right with my soul to this day. But we're probably going to, you know, everybody's going to shower and you know take a nap and maybe we'll get some food but that is the ending of our first day i'll see you guys later